sure. questions. Uh, first, on uh, a telephone spokesman said today that the group would bar Afghans from assessing the roads leading to the airport to allow foreigners to pass. I guess for evacuation efforts, what does this mean for Afghans who assisted and can't get through now? What are you going to be? Does this effectively cut off those Afghans from being evacuated? No, that is not how you should read it. Uh, one, I should note, we have been in direct contact, not just with American citizens, but with SIV applicants, uh, special immigrant visa, visa applicants, and Afghans who uh, we whose. Uh, departure we are facilitating about how and when to come to the airport. And our expectation, which we have also conveyed to the Taliban, is that they should be able to get to the airport. It is also true, and I know this may be some of the um, confusion out there, uh, that there are a number of Afghans who may not, we, 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 they may not qualify for these programs. And we've seen over the past several, of the past nine days, a rush of people attempt to come to the airport. We certainly understand that, but that also creates a security risk and one that we have great concern about. So to be clear, individuals who are eligible for special immigrant visas or others who we are helping facilitate their evacuation and their departure, we are in touch with them or working to be in touch with them about how and when to come to the airport, as well as American citizens, as you well know, and we expect that uh, they will be able to reach the airport. And, uh, sorry, just the, Afghan, or the Taliban are saying that they don't want Afghans uh, to leave that now they want these Afghans to stay, that they're needed to rebuild the country. Again, um, our expectation and what we will continue to convey directly through a range of channels we have is that the individuals, the special immigrant visa applicants, those who are eligible, those who we are uh, uh, facilitating their departure will be able to reach the airport. And on your uh, the statement that you just put out about a half hour ago mm -hmm. about the uh, uh, August 31st deadline and uh, sticking to it, uh, the president has, from uh, allies, uh, both uh, here at home and abroad, uh, have wanted him to push that deadline back some. And also critics of the president are uh, speaking out very strongly on, on his decision. What do you s say to those who are criticizing the president by sticking to this deadline? It amounts for him uh, to capitulating to the Taliban. Well, first, and I think I'm just going to read the statement. I know a number of you have seen it, but just in case, because I think it has quite a bit of additional context uh, that is not exactly aligned in, in, you know, he stuck with the deadline, as you just conveyed. During a meeting this morning with the G7 leaders, the president conveyed that our mission in Kabul will end based on the achievement of our objectives. That is a key component there. He confirmed we are currently on pace to finish by August 31st. As you all know, in the last nine days, we have effectively helped evacuate 57,000 people, and that has continued to uh, escalate uh, the number of people we're getting out each day. 